left. We spent the last, I think, one and a half weeks in this national park in the south of Bolivia, which is called Eduardo Avaroa. And the roads were so bad. So it was a very tough time and now we're happy to be in a new country and happy to be on asphalt. Ah. Yay, Chile! our time in Chile with one hell of a descent from the Altiplano um, which was at yeah we were at 4600 down to the Atacama desert and I don't know 2000 something and it's gonna be 40 kilometers only downhill to San Pedro de Atacama ah that's amazing <laughs> I haven't actually told you what our plan now is. Um, we recently actually changed it because um, the plan was to cycle from Bolivia only a very tiny part through Chile and then to Argentina and cycle south along the Ruta 40. But <laughs> it is raining there quite a lot now because it's rainy season. So yeah, we changed our plans and decided to go through Chile, more along the coast and through the desert. And here there's no rain at all, <laughs> so that's much better. And um, now we want to cycle down to Santiago de Chile, uh, which is under 1,500 kilometers now. And we want to be there in about a month, because end of February, my parents are going to visit us in Buenos Aires. So we're gonna fly from Santiago to Buenos Aires and then have a nice two week vacation with my parents in uh, Argentina and Uruguay. Yeah, and then after that, we're gonna go back and head down towards Patagonia. <laughs> cycling a very remote route now, especially the last two days, from San Pedro de Atacama uh, here to the coast of Paposo. Um, yeah, where there was literally nothing for 150 kilometers, nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, we have like 
30 kilometers left to this town, all downhill now. Wow, that looks incredible. And uh, then we'll be at the sea. just watching an incredible sunset over the Pacific <laughs> and we just had a look at the map also planning our upcoming route and so on and it's so crazy to think that about 10,000 kilometers in that direction the first landmass you hit is New Zealand about 12,000 13,000 kilometers in that direction the first landmass you hit is um, Australia and a bit further north it's Papua New Guinea and let me turn around <laughs> about uh, <laughs> I don't know 18,000 kilometers <laughs> in that direction or 16,000 something like that a bit north northwest the first landmass you hit is China it's just crazy absolutely crazy <laughs> to just imagine that there's nothing but ocean for so long and then yeah, what countries you pretty much hit next? It's the Pacific is huge. It's huge, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It's not too windy. It's not uh, like very misty or something. It's just so nice. <laughs> We're really happy we took the route through Chile and not uh, through Argentina. going to the ocean um, and here there's no desert <laughs> suddenly everything is green and that's so cool it's such a nice uh, such a nice quick change and just for a very small um, area here so it's always nice to see that nice to see how water <laughs> changes the desert So this is 
the Japanese garden of La Serena, which is called El Jardín del Corazón, so the garden of the heart. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. That's annoying. Chao. Así. <laughs> so we just had a really incredible two nights and yesterday rest day with Tomas and his mom um, and yeah they were just super kind and uh, yeah incredible hospitality and uh, yesterday we went around the city a bit with Tomas and uh, yeah it was really cool really really cool and uh, his mom even made us uh, knitted us some um, hats for now the colder Patagonia which is gonna be coming up soon and uh, it's just really really nice and we ate together and yeah talk together and now we're on the final stretch to uh, Santiago so about a week or a bit more than a week of cycling now to go and uh, yeah glad we left the highway and are now cycling on smaller roads towards Santiago because it's so empty here and the landscape is really really nice um, but it's a lot of climbing um, over the last I don't know maybe 500 kilometers it's about 8,000 meters of positive elevation gain so the last exhausting week uh, before we then reach Santiago and I'm gonna have vacation with my parents. <laughs> In Santiago we just spent the, the morning cycling into the city and um, only a few kilometers from where we are going to leave our bikes now 
for the next two weeks uh, while we fly to Buenos Aires from here from Santiago to meet Luis's parents and go on a two week holiday and then before we come back get our bikes and continue south and yeah yeah and that we reached Santiago means that we now did almost half of Chile already which is just crazy <laughs> and uh, we're really glad we took the route uh, through Chile and not through um, Argentina we didn't have a drop of rain <laughs> which was the main reason we cycled here and we were surprised um, by the landscape and by the by the routes we took we didn't cycle too many highways so um, it was actually quite nice and yeah, yeah we went to, uh, from San Pedro um, the Atacama in the desert to the coast and then now the last week we cycled again more through the mountains through the wine region and more yeah. agricultural regions so, so and it got now a lot greener the last days and already more hotter as well. yes it got hot <laughs> so all in all the temperatures were great except for the last days where it was a bit too hot yeah. but uh, yeah as I said we are really glad that we decided to yeah. go through Chile and also the camping was really good yes. um, we never once in a while we took us a bit longer to find something especially when there was more agriculture but all in yeah. all we had no trouble while camping essentially every night so, no. yeah. so it was really relaxing really yeah. nice and yeah after the two weeks vacation where we are really looking forward to because uh, yeah we haven't seen my parents for almost two years, two years now that's just crazy um yeah really looking forward to that to meet them again and then when we come back it's almost uh yeah we're almost done with south america actually it's gonna be the last three months uh cycling down to uh, ushuaia to the end of the world <laughs> and then yeah that's it that's it